So I've been looking for some quality but affordable gaming headsets that I didn't want to break the bank on, but I also didn't want to skimp out on some important features. I've been looking for something that was over ear, something that's comfortable, something that has active noise cancellation, which I've heard is just a really important, crucial feature for gaming headsets. I spent a lot of time and research on a particular headset that is pretty popular. I've seen a lot of reviews for these. They seem to be selling really well on Amazon. So I wanna let you know my own thoughts of trying them out and if I like them, if I'm gonna keep them. And that is the product that we're gonna be talking about in today's video, which is the JBL Quantum One. So without further ado, let's talk tech. My name's Arnell with Ardently Tech. On this channel, we talk all things tech with videos of product reviews, tech hacks, tutorials, and more. If you're somebody that's ever been confused by tech or if you just wanna learn something more about it, definitely subscribe for more videos like this. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the design of the JBL Quantum One. We're gonna go over just some of the objective things that I've seen with these particular headsets. We're also gonna go over the pros, the things that I really like, and the cons. The things that I just don't like, that I can't stand, and that for me don't justify the price tag. Speaking of which, these retail for $299. $300, that's if you're paying full price, but they're usually on sale for somewhere between about 120 to 150 on Amazon. I'll have affiliate links down below for you to check out the most current prices for you to check them out yourself. So starting off with the design, the JBL Quantum One have very thick and very well padded earmuffs. This also has adjustable height to fit most head sizes. And for the left and the right earmuffs, they're very clearly but discreetly marked so that you know which side is which. And lastly, which is kind of obvious, but should be important to know, is that these are compatible with really any gaming system that takes 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So moving on to the pros, I kind of alluded to this a little bit in the design portion, but the earmuffs are very comfortable. I was able to play with these headsets for a long time, good couple of hours, and I didn't feel too hot or sweaty you know, around the ears. And as somebody that has glasses, having something that is very comfortable over my glasses is a very, very big important thing because most of the time when you get headsets, they're very great for anybody that doesn't have glasses. So when they're comfortable and you can wear them for a long time with glasses, that's definitely a major key for me. Now with the design, these are very clearly over-designed. When you look at these, you can tell that these are gaming headsets and you also have very cool LED lights that light up. The lights are just moving around and changing colors and just kind of adds to the ambiance. And it also helps people know that you are gaming and that you're actually actively doing something as if the giant over ear headsets more a you know an obvious teller that you're actually gaming you at least have the led lights just to help with that ambiance there now next is probably the most important thing is the audio the audio is crystal clear i honestly have no complaints on the audio quality i'm able to hear loud explosions and sounds and just the overall experience is great and it's really immersive, especially for somebody like myself that likes to be, you know, gaming in a dark room. I just love feeling and hearing the explosions all around me. It's great. Now, a particular thing with the audio is that it has very accurate 360 or 3D dynamic audio. JBL calls this the quantum sphere technology. And basically what it does is that when you are hearing an explosion on the left side of the screen, you're actually gonna hear it very clearly and very distinctively in your left earmuff. And if you turn to face the explosion, so if you turn your head over, the audio starts to transition a little over to your right side earmuff. And it's just very cool how, it, how the technology works. This isn't the first headset to actually do that, but these do it very well. It just really adds to the immersion and to the experience that you're able to really feel like you're there. But these headsets, while I have a lot of pros, these are not perfect. I definitely have had my frustrations with these, which I'll get into in this next portion. But before I get into that, I want to remind you that if you are finding value in this video, definitely drop us a like and let me know in the comments down below if you have tried out any of the other JBL headsets like the Quantum 100 or the 400 or even the 800s. Let me know what you think of any of the other gaming headsets, or if you're not a JBL person, let me know the gaming headset of your choice 
Now, for the first con, which is probably the biggest con for me, in my opinion, is the active noise cancellation. So I've heard how important active noise cancellation is for gaming headsets, and I definitely can see in theory how it is so important, but these particular headsets don't do that great of a job. And it's funny because I've seen other reviews talk about how great the active noise cancellation is, so I wonder if I just got a bad copy, but the headsets themselves, the active noise cancellation is not really that. It doesn't actively remove sounds around you. All they do, at least that I've noticed, is just make audio louder. It's like the volume level just increases to 100 and they're saying, okay, that's great. Now you can't hear things around you. It's just a pretty frustrating feature that is a big selling point for it. And I see other people talking about it and praising it, but I'm not seeing there's any actual improvement there. On the actual line, there are three volume modes that you can choose. There's a little dial that lets you choose from speaking, active noise cancellation, and gaming. Gaming and the noise cancellation modes just kind of sounded the same, barely noticed the difference at all. And the speaking mode just dramatically lowered the volume. So it just, for me, that somebody that's not on, you know, voice chats all the time anyways, I didn't notice a difference. There was no reason for me to have it on the speaking mode to begin with. Now, the next con is a sort of a nitpick, but I can definitely see this being an issue for a lot of people. And it certainly bothered me quite a bit as I was using the JBL Quantum 1. The audio jack does not fit very snugly into whatever I'm plugging it into, whether that's the PS5, the Xbox series, or even the Switch. Maybe it was just dependent on whatever kind of headphone jacks I had. So I was just testing out a bunch of different things. Regardless of what I tried to use, I found that the uh, audio jack just kept popping out or it would get loose and then the audio would then start to do something weird and it would only play on the right side or, or it would just start to cut in and out. Definitely pretty frustrating. Now, the final verdict is that these are still great headsets. I know I just harped on these for quite a bit on the cons, but these are great headsets. It just really depends on the price that you get them and the price that you can find them. Like I said, I'll have affiliate links down below to the current pricing for you to pick them up yourself, but ultimately I wouldn't spend more than $100 on these. I would like to view these as higher end Astros or Turtle Beaches, but honestly, I just feel like these just can't really keep up with those. And I just, I wasn't as impressed with them as I would be, especially for somebody that always used to get, you know, maybe $20, $30 headsets at the max. When I decided to upgrade to these, I was not that impressed with them. So much so that I returned them. And to this day, I'm still using the JBL Quantum 100s that I reviewed a couple months ago. Now, these headsets are great for somebody that is able to pick these up pretty inexpensively if you're able to find a good price for them. And also great for somebody that does not live in a noisy environment. If you're in a pretty quiet environment, then you're probably able to get away with the fact that these advertise noise cancellation, but they don't actually have them. At least my units didn't. It just more so bothered me that I could hear everything knowing that the noise cancellation was on. And it didn't bother me that I could hear everything, but it bothered me that it advertised that I wouldn't be able to hear it, but I could hear everything. So if that makes sense. All that being said, you're definitely gonna get a higher quality experience with JBL, but that's why I would probably recommend a different JBL, whether that be the Quantum 100, if you're just looking for something to just get you by. But if you're somebody that is wanting to get something a little bit higher end, maybe look into those different, you know, Quantum 400s, the 800s. You definitely have a couple of different options there. And so, like I said, I will link down below the Quantum 1s. I'll also link down below the Quantum 100s. And if you're somebody that just heard all of this and you're leaning towards something that is simpler and cheaper, definitely check out this video right here where we go over the Quantum 100s. I let you know my thoughts on them and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.